in Fairfield, too. It's in Fairfield now? Oh, yes. It's around uh, 8.30. But to know what um, channel it's on? Yes. Uh, uh, well, the public access channel. Public access, okay. Uh, it's around 8.30 p.m. on Tuesday. 8.30 p.m. tomorrow night. Yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. All right. I'll tell us to take a look. All right. So well, because you know we love you. Oh, yes. We and, love And we love our God. Uh, well, he, he first. And then we are second. <laughs> we always put him first. <laughs> in Christ there is no east or west, in him no north or south, but one great fellowship of love throughout the whole wide earth. I could see why Franklin was a good singer. No, he was a good singer. Oh, Franklin was a good singer. Yes, he certainly was. Of course. A special person, girl. Yes, yes. I was fortunate and blessed to have met him. Yes, so was I. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. It's so seldom that I get to talk to anybody who knew Franklin. But that's why I've got you, though. Well, Dad, thank you. And, you know, I will always do something inspiring because what I just said are factual. Those are the facts, and that's the truth. Good man. Very good, very, very good man. When you all left uh, 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 Christ United, uh, I know he was terribly missed. He was missed? He was missed. I can't say the same about you because I'm an honest man. <laughs> <laughs> but Franklin was missed. <laughs> he, was, uh, he was a part of the church and you used to come to church. Yeah. Yes, we did. Uh, so he was really missed in the choir. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we can just thank God for the good days that we had. But say that again. You know, sometimes I look back and I say thank you. Thank you for what has happened. Thank you for what is happening. And yes. what will happen? Hey, it's only you could be... It's only... It's your decision. I think that's a lovely prayer. Yes, it's your decision. The doctor says, I can do nothing for your disease. It's hereditary. And the patient said, well, send the bill to my father. <laughs> I love it, I love it. <laughs> if it's hereditary, send it in to my father. <laughs> Holy mackerel. Glendora, you're the best. All right, sweet. Give my love to everybody. Sure will, darling. And I'm calling to thank you for the job you did for me. No problem, darling. You know, I'll always be there for you. 
Yeah. For the time, okay? Yes, and I wanted to call you when it wasn't renewal time. <laughs> no problem. You call me whenever, darling. You know, I have you in my house. All right, sweet. You're a good gal. Thank you for that. Listen, have a beautiful one. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, darling. George Paris, New Rochelle, United Church of Christ, Methodist. George Paris, New Rochelle, United Church of Christ, Methodist. Oh, she loves it. It's macaroni and sauce. Oh, it tastes so good. Yeah, you were hungry, weren't you? It's June 2nd. Oh, yes, it tastes so good, Rachel. She's old now. She's three years old. I remember when she was a teenager. It was good. I had some last night. Think she'll eat that whole big dish? It interests me so that God would design such a an interesting face with a bandage. So, and a panda too. A panda with the two black ears and the two black spots over the eyes. It's interesting. Why did you do that, God? You make these animals with such care, such design. Oh, you poor baby, you were hungry, but I fed you so much last night. I cooked it. My brother asked me to write this joke out for him so he could tell it to his priest, his Episcopalian priest. Oh. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Franklin. Happy birthday to you. Nineteen nineteen to two thousand three. Have you ever fasted, folks? What is it like? I fasted all day yesterday, Tuesday. I haven't eaten. And this is Wednesday. And I'm going to try to fast all day Wednesday. And all day Thursday. And then Friday, have a party. Franklin's birthday party. Why? I don't know a good reason why, except it's something that I always wanted to know if I could do. 
Does it do anybody any good? No. It's kind of a lesson in self-discipline. All of these mystics that I'm reading about who obtain communion with God I believe they fasted, didn't they? I don't know. But it's something that I was challenged to do in the month of May and it didn't work out until the first week of June. Matthew 7, 12. Say about 
unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name have done many wonderful works? And then I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon the house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them not, shall be likened unto a foolish man, which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came up, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell. And great was the fall of it. And it came to pass, when Jesus had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine. For he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. Indeed, indeed. That's the end of the Sermon on the Mount. Starts at chapter 5, 6, and 7. In Christ there is no east or west, in him no north or south, but one great fellowship of love throughout the whole wide earth. Thank you, God, for being with us in our quiet times. Thank you for being a blessing to us, that we may be a blessing to you. Thank you for the Bible, the Sermon on the Mount for Jesus Christ and for his teachings. Amen. Thank you for this man who wrote this book, published in 1945, of people who did so well with their communion with you. The soul the soul is God. God is in every person. Is God in you dot com? Do you have a soul dot com? Yes, I think you do. You know when you are loved. You'll never stop being a lap cat. Here you are five years old and you're still a baby kitten. And these are the people I've studied about so far and they did so well with their divine meetings with God and rising above themselves from being one Lotsa Buddha Gautama Pythagoras and Plato Plotinus Plotinus is especially good, folks. He was kind, he was gentle, he was sweet. He saw God in everything. And St. Bernard and all the ones in between. And Eckhart, you would have liked, you would like him too. Fra Angelico Fra Angelico the monk painter the Annunciation the angel to Mary here are some very nice words about mystics the man who loved quiet does that appeal to you God? does that appeal to you? you are? an atmosphere of quiet and naive charm 
Rather, it is that this picture, saint, this painter, saint and mystic, learn ways to carry over into his fresco or panel some oblique revelation of his experience of God's presence, some reminder of a world of the Spirit. Does that talk to you folks? That led him to experience of a higher world, meditation. All the steps of the Christian mystic, dedication to a life of selfless devotion, of charity, obedience and poverty, austere discipline, adoring contemplation, a placing of one's consciousness in Christ, and final consumption experience of God's presence. Nice words, right? Reveal the realm of God, purest Christian, the most feeling of God's painters. Cultivate quiet seclusion. You remember we called it alone time with God the first thing in the morning? Cultivate quiet seclusion. Completely a tool of God. He never, he explained, retouched a picture or even so much as corrected a line because the original had been put down of God's will. He worked, we know, in the mystic's strange state of combined humility and confidence. Interesting. In devotion and at times in rapture. A tool of God. James Dixon, Manhattan. Three baby pandas. Nice, sweet. God is... God is great. Look at that design. First of all, a bear. Is a, I love teddy bears. Like the one about the Dr. B.O. too. Yeah, James. Um, yeah. James talking about my jokes. Critique of my message. Sometimes I play around with it. I have all kinds of ones like Hi, James. Please take the message with all the number names. Little baby. You know, um, at one point I did have um, urgent. You have to have something around. So urgent. I had uh, uh, an episode of uh, either urgent, my cell number, or I've had um, an episode of an urgent tone. Call my cell phone. That's good, James. That's very good. What else? I, detergent uh, rhymes with urgent. Yeah, that's good. This is June 3rd, Franklin's birthday. <laughs> Good, because my lady, I think. Same time, same station. Okay, James. Thank you, James, for doing that. Hi, Glendora. It's Sylvia. I'm off to get groceries. Franklin's niece. And it's the 3rd of June, and I wonder how old Franklin would have been today. 90. Uh, 1919 to uh, 2009. Waiting 90. for my ride. And I'm, I, I'm, I'm waiting for my flowers to come up. I planted them before <laughs> Memorial Day. Good for you. Coming up one by one. Thank you, Sylvia. I bought in the front of the trailer. And uh, it's kind of cool here today. I thought it was going to warm up, but it's still he cool. He does very well. Anyway, she I wanted to say hello. And, uh, She's over 80. Thank you, and take care. It, it's gray here today. It might be a little rain. hope everything is okay there. Thank you. And we had four days of sunshine. This is a rainy day. Nine, five, two, one, two, seven, Andrew Spano, County Executive, 10, 11, Westchester County, New Dr. York. Dillard will be holding its Household Recycling Day this Friday, June 5th. Household Recycling. Friday, June 6th at 
Chapter 15 of the June Community 6. College in Valhalla. Was, Besides the usual items, was just a community can now bring expired and unused medication for safe disposal. Okay. And don't forget to bring up the four boxes of unwanted personal papers for shredding. Household clean up day. non-residential waste will not be accepted. Remember, Household Recycling Day is Friday, June 5th from 1 to 3 and Saturday, June 6th from 9 to 3 at the Westchester Community College in Valhalla. For directions or more information, call 211 or visit westchestergov.com slash recycling. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you, Andrew Spano. The doctor said, there is nothing I can do about your disease. It's hereditary. And the patient says, okay, doc, send the bill to my father. Uh, Dick Montague from the Hudson Valley Old Time Power Association, returning your call. I've been traveling in the West, and I'm getting back home there tomorrow. And I'll call you again. I, we're very interested in the idea of some kind of exposure on your show. Uh, and they're looking forward to talking with you. I will call uh, sometime. Let's say I'll be traveling tomorrow. Uh, Friday might be a possibility, but in any case, I will get back in touch. Thanks for calling. Very nice, Mr. Montague. Good morning, Glendora. It is Karen Galasso. How are you? It is Thursday, June 4th, 1006. A couple of things. I am going to see Greg at um, Charter tomorrow. Charter Communication. 10, 10.30. New tone. He did ask me, what do you want to do with the discs he has? Let me know if you're able to get through to me. Let me know. Uh, Bring them home with you. Okay, so I can take them um, and go from there. Well, all is well. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you. That's my banker. This message will be automatically deleted much. in 14. What's the problem? <laughs> Congratulations to Glendora for filming the 5,000 television show. That's nice. Who wrote it? 